In this vlog, we are going to see the account creation for Sonar Cube here. So we have uh, you now landed on this particular sonarsource.com where we can find the Sonar account creation process. So here we can get started with the account creation. And if you are a student or a developer who is trying to learn and you are trying to learn how to integrate Sonar into your Android, iOS or Flutter or any of your application. So this is the right tutorial for you. And here, now we are trying to create a free account here. So this is the free for developers wanting to try Sonar Cube. So this is the account we can create and get started with the Sonar implementation. And here, this is not the home page. So when you get to this particular website, this is the home page and when you tap on pricing here, then you can see this particular page appearing over here. And now let's tap on get started and if you want to read what are the things you will get in this particular free account, here you can see you can scan your private projects up to 50k lines of code and if you are a fresher and a beginner, don't worry 50k is a lot of uh, lines of code provided for you. So don't think like it will be sufficient or not. Generally, it's like three to four thousand lines of code will be there for an application. And if you are making a high level application like for client level or project level, then it might do more than that. But 50k lines of code is a good to go for uh, a beginner. 50k limit is a good to go for a beginner. And uh, scan unlimited public projects, 30 languages and frameworks. And here you can find the language which you are trying to uh, create an application which you are using to create the application and here we are making use of a uh, Kotlin here and also if you are trying to make use of a Flutter application then we got that and for IAS applications we have Swift and also uh, like React everything like everything is being present over here which are required for uh, creating application and here maximum 5 users so I think this is also a very good limit we don't require maximum more than 1 or 2 users but they are providing 5 users that's well and good and issue detection and SAST so here SAST stands for static application and secure testing here so it is a process used to analyze the source code of an application without executing it and if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below we will try to answer those things and here main branch and pull request analysis so if you are well aware like git implementation if not i will be providing in the description section below the git implementation and getting started with the git uh, repository tutorial and here devops platform integration and if you want to further go beyond and try to implement devops for your application then here you also have the facility to do so and now let's get started with the free tire here and now you have an option of choosing any account uh, from these choice of accounts here so i'll be going with github i have already signed up with my github account and if you want to use any other bitbucket gitlab or azure devops uh, feel free to use them and also you can see like there is no commitments or credit card requirement and you can cancel anytime Okay. and also I suggest you to go to terms of service page here and read them before accepting so here now let's get started and this is a page where sonar cube cloud by sonar would like to take your permission so here we have logged into our github right so it is trying to take our permission let us we need to authorize sonar cloud and get started so now we have authorized the Sonar Cube to our account and this is the first page import an organization and if you are having an existing organization and you want to get that into this particular account then you can click on the import an organization and from your github you can do so and if you are not uh, having an existing organization you can tap on find my organization here so 
here I'll tap on import and organization or here you can see if you're advanced user with your own workflow you can create a project manually so there are two options here again so based upon uh, the flow you can do so and you know the first thing is like I'm going to import an organization and this is my account here so I am tapping on continue install on your personal account yeah all repositories or only on selected repositories so here we need to select the repository and get started so here I have created an Android test project here and now we'll push this particular project onto the github and from here then we will try to interact with sonar cube cloud and try to run our test and try to analyze it okay so here i am making this like android test repository and description sample add to analyze sonar cloud cube or oh, this is like cube cloud okay and it's not a public repository it's a private repository and i don't want any readme file so just a sample application right i don't want to add a readme file and here we have got the link here the git link and let's go back to the android studio and from vcs here we need to enable version control integration so this is a fresh project which i have created so git is not enabled and now I'm trying to enable git and you can choose the options which you require and here when you tap on ok you can see like it is being enabled for your project and here you can see enabling git here and once the git is successfully enabled you can find the options right here in the android studio itself yes here you can see right so like update project commit and push the project so the first thing what i would like to do is like i'll try to add the entire project over here commit directory and here you can see these are all the unversion files here and you can again pick what particular files you want to add and also git ignore file you can create and then you can exclude some files from getting onto the github here but again this is a sample project so I just don't want to do all those process I just directly want to add everything into my kit and the first thing uh, okay here also see the commit here so these are all the things which are being added and as I said earlier this is a sample project so everything is fine for me and I'll be writing like initial commit and I'll try to commit and push so generally you do commit and analyze the errors and then go for the uh, push thing so here it is showing five errors and 10 warnings so let's try to see review the code analysis and what are the errors I'll quickly try to fix the errors and warnings I can skip them so duplicate property it is showing so here i'll just try to clean the project and sync the gradle files here and here let's try to remove the property and sync now and let's try to commit and push so here uh, commit checks are being done and click to see if you want to see like you can check them and once the commit checks is done then we need to provide the kit URL right and there is also another process here you can follow this you can initialize the kit here just like we did from the Android studio and here we went right uh, we have enabled the VCS and that's the process you can even make it directly through the here this is an empty repository commit and push define remote and here i am specifying the url here and when you tap on ok log into github log in via github and the uh, i am going to authorize here authorize prints 
and that's it we are now authorized and here you can see our initial commit is also being loaded and when you tap on push here you can see 46 files committed pushed main to new branch origin main and just come back here and just try to refresh this particular page and you can see the code is now up on our git repository so now also let's try to select the repository okay so this is the one and this is why i even wrote a description so that we can recognize it android test and i have selected it read access to code and metadata yes everything and install so now finalizing installation and this is the organizational details and key here and also you can find the payment details here as we have discussed in the initial part of the tutorial we are going to go with the free version so i am selecting the free one and again the same things here which we have covered so create organization okay so now i am trying to create this particular organization and yes within the seconds our organization is now created okay and this is the android test private okay set a new code definition for your organization to default or the new code for this project will be based on the previous version you can change this at any time okay fine okay so any code that has changed in last six days is considered as new Okay, we have finished taking on the new issue of the extent. This issue will be part of the overall. So I'll be picking the previous version here. And again, you select according to your requirement. So learn about Sonar Cube Cloud Core Concepts. So just go through this help section if you are facing any issue. And here now our project is now created. And uh, this is it for this part of the tutorial and in the coming tutorial we'll try to analyze the project I suggest you to first complete the steps till this particular process and if you are facing any issues just let me know in the comment section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content